This video is created by Jagrat Creations. This video is on joint venture accounts. I want to solve one sum wherein we are required to prepare a memoranda joint venture account. Memoranda joint venture account is prepared under the circumstances wherein any part or records only those joint venture transactions with which he is concerned or with which he is a party to the transaction. After recording transactions in this fashion, he wants to have a he wants to have his share in profit in joint venture business. To find out his share in joint venture profit, a statement is prepared which is known as Memoranda Joint Venture Account. Now observe the sum that I intend to solve here before you on the screen. This is the sum that I want to solve here before you. David of Bombay and Khosla of Delhi entered into joint venture for the purpose of buying and selling second hand motor cars. David to make purchases and Khosla to effect sales. The profit and losses, the profit and loss was to be shared equally. Khosla remitted a sum of Rs. 1,50,000 to David's third joint venture. David purchased 5 cars for Rs. 1,60,000 and paid 60,000 for their reconditioning and sent them to Delhi. He also incurred the expenses of 5,000 for transportation of the cars to Delhi. Khosla sold 4 cars for Rs. 40,000 and retained 5th car for himself at an aggregate value of 50,000. His expenses were insurance, garage rent, brokerage and Sunday expenses. These are the expenses paid. Each partner, each party's ledger contains a record of his own transactions in joint venture account. Prepare a statement showing the results of joint venture and joint venture account with David in the books of Khosla as it finally appeared, assuming that the matter was finally settled between the partners. Also prepare joint venture account with Khosla account in the books of David. So, this is the details of the sum that I read before. Here there are two partners, David of Bombay, Khosla of Delhi. Now the one of the partner David is going to record only those transactions with which he is a party to it. Each party's ledger contains a record of his own transaction in joint venture account. So each partner records only those transactions with which he is privy to it, party to it. That's the one thing. Now with that modus operandi, David records transaction in his books. Same way, Khosla records transaction in his books to which he is, which transactions he has entered into. Now at the end of recording all these transactions, they want to have their share in profit. So to find out the share in profit, one statement is prepared known as Memoranda Joint Venture Account. The Memoranda Joint Venture Account will disclose the profit. The share in profit will be worked out and that share will be claimed from the other co-venturers and ultimately the accounts are going to be settled. In with that method of recording, I start with the books of Khosla. David of Bombay and Khosla of Delhi entered into a joint venture. So I start with Khosla. Now Khosla prepares one account. Which account he prepares? He prepares the account here. Joint venture with David. So joint venture with David account. This is the debit and credit side. Now let, let us start with the sum. Khosla is going to record only those transactions with which he is concerned. So Khosla remitted sum of rupees 1,50,000 to David. Khosla remitted. I remitted to David. David is the receiver. Joint venture with David. Joint venture with David. This business is the receiver. David the receiver. Check is issued, so bank account is to be credited. So joint venture with David account debit to bank account credit 
This is how remittance is recorded. Now, next transaction. After remittance, David purchased five cars. For rupees one lakh sixty thousand, paid rupees sixty thousand for reconditioning, reconditioning, and sent it to Delhi. He also incurred expenses of five thousand in transporting the cars to Delhi. All purchases and expenses are paid by David. This is a transaction between David and joint venture. Khosla is not a party to this transaction, so Khosla will not record. So observe the note that I have prepared for that. David contributes for joint venture. It is a transaction between joint venture and David, and not recorded in the books of Khosla. So I will not record this transaction in. In my account, that is joint venture with David account. I am not going to record this transaction in this account that I have prepared. I am Khosla because I am not a party to the transaction. Now Khosla sold four cars, so I sold four cars for rupees two lakh forty thousand. I got the proceeds, cash and bank account debit to joint venture with David account credit. I kept one car for my personal purposes at an aggregate value of fifty thousand. So vehicles account debit to joint venture with David account credit. So these are the proceeds that I have received. Why have I received? Because I have entered into a joint venture business with David. So cash and bank account debit to joint venture with David account credit. I took one vehicles for my personal purposes. Vehicle is by asset. Vehicle account debit two. I got it from this joint venture business. So this account is to be credited. Now these are the expenses paid by me for joint venture. All these expenses are paid by me for joint venture. So joint venture with David is a receiver. Cash goes out. So cash or bank account is to be credited for that. Look at it. So joint venture with David account debit one thousand to bank account. Joint venture with David account debit two thousand. Garage rent to bank account. I just make a total here just for my sake. So these are the expenses paid. The total of these expenses are five thousand four hundred. So five thousand four hundred rupees are paid by me. Check is issued. Bank is the giver of these expenses. Bank account is to be credited. I have paid these expenses because of my joint venture business with David. So joint venture with David account debit to bank account credit for these expenses. Now all these transactions are over. Now I want to have my share in profit. To have my share means share of cost line profit. I am required to find out the profit. To find out the profit, one statement, one account is prepared, is known as memoranda joint venture account. So here I am going to prepare memoranda joint venture account. Now see, Khosla claims his share in joint venture profit. Memoranda joint venture account is prepared to find out the share of David and Khosla in profit. So first of all, remittance not recorded because it's not an expense. Five cars are purchased for rupees one lakh sixty thousand. These are the expenses paid by David, reconditioning expenses and transportation charges. So these are the purchases and expenses paid by David. Now Khosla got the proceeds, sales proceeds. Khosla means I kept one car for my personal purposes. These are the expenses paid by me. You know that total of these expenses are how much? Five thousand four hundred expenses paid by me. So expenses are debited, revenues are credited. From this revenue, expenses will be deducted. I'll get the profit, total profit for joint venture business. The so total profit for joint venture business is fifty nine thousand six hundred. I am required to find out my share in profit. That's equal. So twenty nine thousand eight hundred is my share in profit. Twenty nine thousand eight hundred is the share of profit of Devi. So my profit I will claim from this joint venture business. So joint venture with David account debit to profit and loss account credit. Now I have claim profit. So these are the payments paid by me. This is my claim for profit. These are the proceeds received by me. So accounts is to be settled with David. So total of credits are two lakh ninety thousand minus all these payments made by me are already adjusted. Balance is paid to David. So joint venture with David account debit to bank account credit one lakh four thousand eight hundred. This is how I am required to make payment to David. 
and this is how my joint venture business accounting gets over and is concluded. So last settlement, one lakh four thousand eight hundred is paid to David. Joint venture with David account debit to bank account credit. This is how entry gets recorded. Now I have recorded all those transaction with which Khosla was a part due to transaction in the books of Khosla, and this memoranda joint venture account is prepared to find out the profit of joint venture, and share of Khosla is recorded, identified in this account, and ultimate settlement is made. Now I want to record all these transaction, all joint venture transactions. I want to consider. Now I want to record all these transaction in the books of other co-venturer, that is books of David. He will prepare joint venture with Costa account. So this is the account prepared. This is the debit. This is the credit. David will record only those transaction to only those transaction to which he is a party to the transaction. Let us start. Costa remitted. So David got. I got it. Cash or bank account debit to Costa account credit means joint venture with Costa account credit. David purchased means I purchased five cars for one lakh sixty thousand. So I made a payment. Why I made a payment because I entered into a joint venture with Costa. So joint venture with Costa account debit to bank account purchases. Reconditioning expenses paid sixty thousand. So I paid the expenses. Cash and cash goes out or check is issued. Bank is the giver. Bank account is to be credited. Joint venture with Costa account debit sixty thousand to bank account credit sixty thousand. Transportation charges paid five thousand. So joint venture with Costa account debit to bank account transportation charges expenses paid. So when I made I made payment, checks are issued. Bank is the giver. Bank account is to be credited. Which account is to be debited? Why I paid all these things? Because I entered into joint venture with Costa. So joint venture with Costa account is to be debited for that. Now Costa has sold four cars. My partner, my co-venturer has sold. So Costa received for joint venture. It is a transaction between joint venture and Costa, and not recorded in the books of David. So these are the expenses paid by Costa. Costa contributes for joint venture. It is a transaction between joint venture and Costa, hence not recorded in the books of David. So this is not going to be recorded in the books of David. Now, after considering all these transaction which are to be recorded and which are not to be recorded in the books of David, David is interested in knowing his share in profit. So, David claims his share in joint venture profit. Member in a joint venture account is prepared to find out. Share of David in profit. So now I prepared member in the joint venture account. All expenses for purchase, reconditioning, transportation, and other expenses for the joint venture business will be debited. Sales proceeds and revenue will be credited. Difference in this account is identified is profit. Share of David will be found out. That will be recorded here, and the accounts will be settled. Now let us start with member in the joint joint venture account. So five cars are purchased. Payment made by David. Reconditioning expenses paid by David. Transportation charges. Sales proceeds received by Khosla. Khosla took one car for his personal purpose. So these are the expenses paid by Khosla. Five thousand four hundred. So all the expenses by David by Khosla are debited because it's a joint venture, short duration partnership. Sales proceeds are credited. Now total of credit minus total of Total of revenue minus total of expenses, so you will get the profit. Profit will be distributed equally between the partners. So share of David and share of Costa. David says that I should get this share of profit from Costa. So joint venture with Costa account debit to profit and loss account credit. Now the settlement is to be made. Total of debit minus total of credit. So this is the payment received by me. Received by David and is deposited in the bank. Payment is received from a joint venture business with Costa. So joint venture business, joint venture with Costa is a giver. Credit the giver. So one lakh four thousand eight hundred will be debited in bank account. Bank account debit to joint venture with Costa account credit one lakh four thousand eight hundred. This is how transactions are recorded in the books of David. Member in the joint venture account is prepared. Now I have tried to explain you all this. 
transactions which are recorded and which are not recorded and how the memoranda joint venture account is prepared. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to Allah.